Hello friends, welcome to the second video tutorial of the chapter Time and Distance. In this video tutorial, we will be discussing a few basic questions of time and distance which we will be solving while applying the formula or approach we discussed in the previous video. So let's take the first question, the language of which goes like A car takes half the time taken by a bike to go from Mumbai to Chennai. The bike takes 20 hours to cover the same journey. What is the speed of the bike if the speed of the car be 120 km per hour? Friends, the moment we read the first piece of information which you can see on the screen, we can immediately infer that if the bike takes 2 hours to cover a certain distance, the car will take only 1 hour which is half of the time taken by the bike which further means the ratio of time taken by the bike to the time taken by the car will be 2 is to 1. Now following the relationship between speed and time when the distance is constant we know that time is inversely proportional to speed or speed is inversely proportional to time which means the same thing therefore the ratio of speed of bike to speed of car will be 1 is to 2 which is inverse of time ratio which was 2 is to 1 with this relationship we can further infer that the speed of bike will be half of that of the car. Now the given speed of car is 120 km per hour. Therefore, the speed of the bike will be 60 km per hour which is half of 120. And that's the answer. So wasn't it simple? Let's now move to the second question. The language of which goes like Surya can cover a certain distance in 1 hour 24 minute by covering two third of the distance at 4 km per hour and the rest at 5 km per hour. Find the total distance. We can start solving this question by assuming the distance to be 3 km. And if the assumed distance is 3 km, the first journey which is 2 third of the complete journey will be 2 by 3 of 3 km which will be 2 km. And this journey is covered at a speed of 4 km per hour. Therefore, time taken to cover this journey will be distance upon a speed which will be equal to 1 by 2 hour or 30 minutes. Now, out of 3 km, if the journey of 2 km is covered, the rest of the journey, which will be one third of the total journey, will be equal to 1 km. And it's given that this journey is covered at 5 km per hour speed. So, time taken to cover this journey is equal to distance upon speed which will be 1 by 5 hour or 12 minutes. So the total time taken here is equal to 30 minutes plus 12 minutes which is equal to 42 minutes. Now we can solve this question further applying the ratio and proportion method. We have so far found that if 42 minutes are taken the distance covered is 3 km and in the question the actual time taken is given as 1 hour 24 minutes or we can say 84 minutes what will be the actual distance covered this question mark which is the distance covered is equal to 84 into 3 upon 42 which will give us 6 km and that's the answer so wasn't it simple? I hope it was. 
let's now move to the third and the final question of this video tutorial the language of this question goes like running at 2 by 3 of its usual speed a train is 10 minutes too late find its usual time to cover the journey friends we can solve this question without even using a pen or paper by applying the concept of constancy we learnt in the previous video of time and distance. So I strongly recommend you to watch the first video before you actually try solving questions related to time and distance. So for the explanation sake, let's now note down the given information here. We can infer from the question that the speed of the train is decreasing here. As the question says that speed is going 2 by 3 of the original speed. So the decrease in speed will be 1 by 3. Now if the speed is decreasing by 1 by 3, the other variable which is time here will increase. As we know that time is inversely proportional to speed. So applying the concept of constancy, increase in time will be 1 upon 3 minus 1 which is equal to 1 by 2. Now this increase in time is equal to 10 minutes as given in the question. Therefore, the usual or actual time is equal to 2 into 10 which is equal to 20 minutes. Friends, we can solve this question applying the relationship between time and speed as well. Let's assume the usual time be t and as per the question, new speed will be 2 by 3 of usual speed. Therefore, new time will be inverse of new speed which will be equal to 3 by 2 of usual time. Now as per the question, the difference between the new time and the usual time be 3 by 2t minus t that will be equal to half t and that will be equal to 10 minutes which is given in the question. Therefore, the usual time is equal to 2 into 10 which is equal to 20 minutes and that's the answer. So wasn't it simple again? So friends, this is it. In the next video of time and distance, we'll be discussing some more shortcut approaches with their examples. So till then, keep learning and have a great time.